What is going on, everybody? I hope you guys had a great weekend, and what a way to start off the Monday, the week, actually. You know, I'm not really a Monday person, but I love Mondays when you got two trailers coming out today. Um, the first one being this one, the new Loki trailer. Number trailer, official trailer two with uh, Tom Hiddleston and Owen Wilson. I'm really excited for this one. We saw the first one, loved the first Loki trailer. The second one, we're about to see what else are we going to see in this one. I'm really excited to figure that out with you guys. So you guys all probably saw the trailer already. This is my reaction to watching this for the very first time. And before I really get to the the reaction, I just want to let everybody know, as always, to make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that bell notification button. It really helps the channel a lot. With that being said, now that we got that out of the way, let's get right into the reaction. Okay, let's go. I know what this place is. The timekeepers have built quite the circus. And I see the clowns are playing their parts to perfection. Bring in the clown. Big metaphor guy. I love it. Makes you sound super Still smart. crazy that Orrin Wilson's in this trailer. In okay. this show. Okay. Oh my god, I can't wait for this show. This is everything you've ever said. This is absurd. Sign this too. What? We protect the proper flow of time. You picked up the Tesseract breaking reality. I want you to help us fix it. Exactly. This is what I want. This is really why I want to see the show. You know, just not not just because of Loki. But there's a lot of questions that we're gonna get answered in this show, in this trailer. I mean, in the show. You really believe in this Loki variant? Luckily, he believes in himself enough for the both of us. Bye. Yes. <laughs> that you think you could possibly manipulate me. I'm ten steps ahead of you. You're not big on trust, are you? You can trust me. Who you have studied almost every moment of your entire life. You've literally stabbed people in the back like fifty times. <laughs> That's true. Do it again. <laughs> oh man. Yes. Wow. Wow. Whew. That is. There you guys have it. The Loki trailer. I kind of want to go back and kind of just see what this whole um kind of like break it down and see what, what we can do with all this so with that being said let's switch over to this and just kind of like rewatch it Ooh, they got the tesseract with them. I know what this place is. The timekeepers have built quite the circus. And I see the clowns are playing their parts to perfection. I love that Owen Wilson's gonna be in this series. Like he's really gonna make this series hilarious. You sound super smart. I am smart. I know. Okay. Okay. You know, you always got to add a little kitty in there. Please sign to verify this is everything you've ever said. 
This is absurd. Sign this too. We protect the proper flow of time. You picked up the Tesseract breaking reality. I want you to help us fix it. I want you. So, like, I bet you in this scene right here, when they're sitting down in this table and they're talking to each other, a lot of things are going to be explained. Because he's going to be talking to Loki and he's going to be explaining to Loki how this whole time thing works. But at the same time, he's basically just talking to the audience and telling us, okay, this is what's, let me explain what happened, why everything happened the way it did and what, what we need to do to fix it. This is going to, you know, this is one of the main things that I'm excited to see this show for is the fact that we're going to get a lot like. Uh, what what happened at in in Endgame? It's gonna be explained here, you know, with the time splits and all that type of shit. But I'm, but I don't know. Let's get it right back into it. I want you to help us fix it. Why me? I need your unique Loki perspective. Do I get a weapon? Nah. You really believe in this Loki variant? Luckily, he believes in himself enough for the both of us. Bye. It is adorable that you think you could possibly manipulate me. I'm ten steps ahead of you. It is adorable. See now, okay, so here we get this weird character right here. Who is this dude? He's wearing all like a long trench coat, long hoodie, kind of giving off that Ren <laughs> from Star Wars type of vibe. He's dragging somebody who looks like he's wearing some type of logo here. Uh, I'm kind of thinking like, who else is who is this dude? If anybody knows who this dude can be, please put it down in the comment section below. Thank you. That would be much appreciated. It is adorable. So I guess this is where they're going to be traveling is like through time, like different like dimensions is through these types of doors. That you think you could possibly manipulate me. I'm now, who is this right here? Is this Loki? Or is this the baddie? Honestly, this looks like Loki. This right here looks like Loki. He's getting off of getting out of a throne. And you see these, there's these people right here sitting down, basically listening to him. So he's definitely talking, having a speech. We don't know exactly what the context of this speech is, but it definitely seems like it's Loki sitting coming out of a throne. If I'm wrong, please put that in the comments down below. I'm 10 steps ahead of you. Okay, so we get a better look at the people that were wearing that type of suit. It's ahead of you. Here we go. I'm trying to get a glimpse of what that thing is. This guy, this girl right here looks like, um, ah, what's her name? The girl from uh, Thor, Thor movies. The one that's riding um, uh, the white horse with the wings in Endgame. She helps out Spider-Man. Anyways, it's not her, but that's what I thought it was at first. I was like, wait a minute, what's she doing in here? You're not big on trust, are you? Here we get a glimpse of uh, another of a member of this. I can't seem to make out what that logo is. You can trust me. Loki, I've studied almost every moment of your entire. I'm just trying to see what, what kind of milk carton they were drinking out of there. Your life, you've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times.
So he, this is this is the thing that I want to point out. Okay, so in this scene over here, in this scene right here, you see that this camera shot angle from this scene is shot from here looking at them, right? Now pay attention to this little whatever this could be a milk carton. I don't know what it is, but the logo of this carton is facing towards the camera, right? Now when the scene plays out, when it switches scenes, the logo can be, it, this thing was moved so it can also appear in this scene, which brings me to believe that maybe this little carton right here is, is since, uh, something of value. So maybe this is kind of like a little Easter egg or something. Cause when they do stuff like this, where they definitely kind of like when there's somebody's drinking a Coca-Cola bottle, you know, you never see them drinking it and it doesn't really show the logo. They have to, if they're getting, especially if they're getting, if, if it's something important, that scene, they have to have it in a way where people know what he's drinking. So I have no idea what this would be. It kind of looks like a little Incredible Hulk with the pants and it's called Bow Kit. This drink right here is called Bow Kit. Wait, let me move that up. Make this a little bigger. Bring that down. So this drink's called Bokit. Why never do it again? Oh my god, this seems so fast that he's fighting. Okay, so these are two more members of this whatever time force police or whatever they're called. But they obviously are trying to stop him and they're the bad guys. Well, they're the men, the army of the bad guy. Oh, see this part right here is the interesting part, okay? This right here is the interesting part. And this is the other thing that I was talking about in the Black Widow reaction trailer. That there was a scene of Black Widow. And she looks like is talking to, I mean, obviously she's talking to Loki. So she's sitting down. It looks like she's trapped in something. There's something up in the sky. There's like, it looks like um, missiles or I don't know what it is like, you know, like they look like shooting stars just kind of going. There's one looks like it's landing pretty close. They're looking up at whatever this thing is. If you look back here, it kind of like trees. Um, and far in the distance, you see two portals over here. And right here, this thing right here looks like it is a big door, like an entrance, like a tunnel, the entrance to a tunnel or something. Um, obviously, and then this is all water and they're just sitting on two rocks looking. Maybe this is just kind of like, you know, gazing at the view, but I'm really, really, really interested in this scene. I really want to know more about Black Widow. I, I, you know, people think that I don't like Black Widow and the truth is I don't. And that's just being real. But after Endgame, I actually started to find her more interesting and now I'm really curious and I would love to have her come back. I want her to come back. We got her movie com uh, coming out. And the reason mainly why I want her to come back is because they're releasing her movie. The way she went out, she went out like a champ. It made me feel more for her. And then there's people out there who are really big Black Widow fans who want her to see her back. And it would make more sense if you're bringing out this origin movie, people are the hype for Black Widow is going to rise. And I'm only saying that because my hype for Black Widow, you know, it went up after Endgame. And then when this uh, movie, the origin movie is coming out, if you guys, if there's planning for something for her to make a return, then yes, I am hyped for this movie. I am hyped for this scene. But if this movie is just an origin and that's it, I just, it's there's so much that I just like, oh, like, why, why, why? But I'm pretty sure they're not dumb. 
They're not dumb. They love making money. I'm pretty sure they're going to bring Black Widow back. Anyways, let's get back to it. So it looks like this little scene right here of this guy's fighting. It looks like this is like a somebody's library or like, you know, you have a fireplace here. You got some books, all kinds of books here. We, you know, it's giving me like a Doctor Strange type of vibe, wizard type of vibe. And here he is talking to some old guy. I don't know exactly what old guy he's talking about. Oh, no, this is Owen Wilson. <laughs> This angry little girl. June eleventh, man. June eleventh. That is that is just amazing. I I cannot wait. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. D is there something I missed in this one? Was I was I onto something when I was talking about that milk carton thing on that table? Was it a milk carton? Was it? I don't know. You guys correct me. What about that Black Widow scene? Okay, they definitely showed it again in this trailer. We got the movie Black Widow coming out. Do you guys believe she's coming back? I want her to come back. I definitely want her to come back or else. What the fuck are you releasing that movie for? But anyways, as always, make sure you guys like, subscribe to this video. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next one.